Welcome back. A health scare is what sent his life in a new direction, and that included a podcast called Eat Better Food Today. Ken Cunahan is joining us. He's making one of his delicious recipes that is good for you, and you can hear about it on his podcast and beyond. You interview so many different people on your <laughs> podcast. Now, thank you for coming in yeah, today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to see you again. For, can we just recap kind of your health scare and what happened to you just a couple of years ago? Yeah, back in 2022, basically a long trip led to too much sitting which led to blood clots in my lungs which led me to the Cleveland Clinic to fix me and they have fixed you and as we know me. they're <laughs> so good at they are. Um, but you took it a step further and then said okay not only do I want to better my own life mm -hmm. but I want to help others as well correct yeah so I just started thinking about what else I could do I was in IT for a long time um, I've always liked eating good food traveled a lot as a, as a salesperson in IT and ate a lot of good food so I thought how could I bring that back to Cleveland and how we're also trying to build a center in East Cleveland and then how do we kind of create something in East Cleveland to help out people there as well and you're doing it one moment at a time here with your podcast and then doing something like this is awesome because you're about to show us a meal for four yes that you could you know people think oh, I can't eat healthy and, and without breaking the bank, but yeah. that's not true. That's not true. Yeah, every, uh, we end every episode with a recipe for under $25 for a family of four, which you can make in under 30 minutes. It just has, and this just has a few ingredients. All right, so, let's, let's hit on it. Let's, what do we got? So this came, so just a little bit of background. So this came from Hope Arkukas. She's the uh, uh, medical director for nutrition at Case Western Reserve University, University Hospital. So we actually, uh, I did a podcast with her, and then she invited me into, they've created a kitchen at Case Western Reserve University. So now they have medical students who typically don't get a lot of uh, education on, on nutrition. They had 30 of their 170 in this wellness program, and they invited me in, and they were making healthy meals as part of their medical education. That's wonderful. So, so now so, you're sharing it all with and us. now I'm sharing it with you. So basically what we have here, so we th this chicken, so uh, one of my podcasts was Bob Safira, so I'll give him a plug we here. We know he, Bob. You know yeah. Bob, okay. He's been on the show before. So this is his uh, roast chicken, because when I went to Heinen's yesterday to buy all the ingredients, they were out of rotisserie chicken. So normally you can just buy a rotisserie chicken that you can cut up so you don't have to spend the time that I took last night to make a chicken. So that's that's easy. The lettuce is easy. This is gluten-free. Uh, my wife is gluten-free, so we use gluten-free tortillas. These were a miracle saver. So these are sweet potatoes, but they come in this plastic package or from a company called Melissa's, and you put them in the microwave for four to eight minutes, and then while that's cooking, you start to make the ingredients. So we've got in here the, the black beans. I brought the, the cans here. One thing I wanted to mention on these cans, when you look at the ingredients, you want to make sure from a health standpoint that they only have a few ingredients. So when you look at this can and the ingredients, it has uh, black beans, water, salt, three ingredients. So you should always try to get something that has less than six ingredients. Why you bring that up, such a great point. And um, so anyways, those are the black beans. We, I used frozen corn. Frozen corn is actually, when you can buy it in Ohio in the summertime, that's what I would use, but this it's not in season, so buying it frozen is fresher. And then we have um, just cherry tomatoes, a package of cherry tomatoes you can see there that I've cut in half and kind of put in here. And so that's, that's kind of the base. Mm -hmm. And then this is the dressing that we're going to put on this. So this has olive oil. So I've got the can of olive oil here, three spices, so cilantro, cumin, smoked paprika. Kind of mix that together. I don't like buying sp uh, store-bought um, dressings because this, I mean, this took me five minutes to make wow. and this will probably last this meal and, and one more. Could we assemble one quickly? Yeah. Is that okay? Okay, yep. let's so do it. So basically just... Again, you know, you, oh, first we got to drizzle. Got to get it all over that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I didn't... And just kind of mix that in. What I put, the, all these recipes are online on my website, but what you want to do is also taste this before you start dishing it out to make sure it's got enough salt. I so. always have to, you, you got to always make sure that there's enough seasoning in there too. Yeah. So once you know there's enough seasoning, yep. you, you put it in your bib yeah, lettuce? Yeah, so basically you, you, you put in a pan here, you heat up your tortillas for mm -hmm. about a minute, put that ah, gotcha. under the bib lettuce. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to use the tortillas, you don't have to. You basically assemble your I like your portion sizes too. Your tortilla here, <laughs> kind of move this guy over here so that's your sweet potato and then you just take a piece of chicken or two that we've roasted, put it on top. I've got an avocado here that I've kind of pre-cut a little bit. Get a piece of avocado, put it on top and then just pick it up and eat Roll it and, it and you've, you've got a healthy meal here. 
this is what's so wonderful. The fact that you're showing us again that we can do this under $25 um, and you're utilizing, you got to go to his podcast and listen to it. Eatbetterfoodtoday.com. Um, you can go there on, on his website. And then you interview all different types of people. All we love Cleveland Kitchen. You've used their products yeah, too. Yeah, so you could also add the, uh, those onions are delicious. So you could add those red onions. Fermented foods are good for your, for your gut, mm -hmm. which is good for your brain. So you, you can put some of that on top of this as well and kind of have that as part of the, the healthy meal. Check him out. I'm telling you, he is a wealth of knowledge. It's, it's a, the passion from your experience has turned into something much bigger than that now. I think, can you come make another recipe sometime yeah, soon? Sure. Under $25, you can't beat this. And those look delicious. <laughs> they taste Thanks delicious. Thanks for coming in. <laughs>